The other is not. Oh. <laughs> I should quit. Should I just go home? I am home. Honestly, this really isn't helping my, my self-esteem and mental health today. This is honestly very damaging. Hi, I'm Josie Toda, and I'm doing the expensive taste test with Cosmo. The rules are pretty simple. I'm gonna have two things that are practically the same, but I'm gonna have to guess what's more expensive. Honestly, I think I'll do pretty good. I mean, my dad would probably tell you that I have very expensive taste. Unfortunately, I overspend. I feel like I have a pretty good gauge at how much things are. It looks like I have these strip lashes, which I would say I'm fairly familiar with. I've been wearing strips for some time now. I did have lash extensions, but those did rip out all my lashes. So I resorted to these. Immediately looking at them, I honestly am having trouble telling. This one is definitely very full and voluptuous. And this one is definitely a lot less volume. This one feels very light, like a nice little like ostrich feather. Do they have feathers? Honestly, the band is pretty thick. I don't know if that means anything. This one is definitely, honestly, just as fluffy. But this is the thing with lashes. I feel like cheaper is like sometimes better. I always like the drugstore ones, like those are my favorite. So it's hard to tell. I'm gonna have to go with these ones being the more expensive one because this is a little bit more wispy and hairy and really loose, and this is more uniform. Ah, I lost that one already. Shoot, all right. Messed up on the first one, but I still have my energy. I'm still gonna get this. I still believe in myself. I really do. Now I have two jade rollers. These I honestly don't use. Skincare by Hiram has said that these aren't like the most beneficial, but they're fun. So I didn't buy that, unlike literally everything else that he told me to buy because I am a follower of Hiram and I believe in everything he says and I will die for him. But this one, I recognize the brand and I feel like it's kind of like a low to mid range. Are we comparing like mid range to super high range or are we comparing like really low and expensive to like mid-range. I just don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is the more expensive one. No? Oh, I am failing. I have no taste. I'm a classless human being. Honestly, to everyone that says that I've gone bougie, literally no one, no one has ever said that. I'm a girl who's simple and humble. I just like the simpler things in life. Apparently, this is what that shows me. Okay, these are throw pillowcases. I don't know in what planet I would be able to determine what is more expensive. As much as I'd like to think I'm an HGTV queen, I don't know how good I'd be at determining fabrics. This is giving me very like wannabe, like anthro vibes. It's like she's a bohemian girl who likes a simpler life. Maybe she has a pink shag rug. This, it seems thick and the tassels like are definitely an add-on and I feel like it would require more work. And this is like definitely sewed on. One is 85 and the other is $14. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. If I get this one wrong, I'm really gonna cry. I'm leaning towards this one being the more expensive one because this one has a zipper and the brand of the zipper is a very inexpensive zipper company. I don't know why I know that. Just based off the zipper, I'm gonna say this is the more expensive one. Am I wrong? I'm wrong! is an inexpensive zipper. I should quit. This is really unfortunate. Honestly, this really isn't helping my, my self-esteem and mental health today. This is honestly very damaging. I'm doing so bad, I hate this. It looks like here I have two different press-on nails. My nails are literally horrible right now, so please do not look at them. But when I do get my nails done, I usually get Gel X, but people have been telling me to get press-ons because they look so expensive. So this one will be difficult. I'm getting like very much pharmacy drugstore vibes from these nails. Just like based on looking at it, this looks like something I would buy when I was younger. I used to send my dad to the pharmacy to get me fake nails when I was like eight years old, whenever he would like go on grocery store runs. So I feel like I have history with these nails. I feel like you can do like the bend test and if it doesn't bend, it's like stronger. So it's probably like 
more expensive. Okay, these both like don't really bend. Okay, but this is more rounded. This is more expensive. I'm gonna go, oh, I said it's more expensive. Maybe that was my intuition telling me that this is more expensive. I think these are more expensive. <laughs> what? I'm wrong? But these don't bend. How am I wrong? Who wants this round nail? No shade to the round nail community, but this is a beautiful coffin. And I would so much rather go out of my way to pay for this than this. This is a round nail. Round. This game is really, it's really getting to me. Here I have a Cosmo palette specifically made for this game and half of these, I'm told, are side A and then side B. One is more expensive, obviously, and the other is not. Oh. <laughs> Great, already broke it. Should I just go home? I am home. I'm not gonna leave. Wait, where'd the other one go? This is a purple one. Honestly, that's a pretty incredible swatch. It's like, I wouldn't say creamy, but it definitely feels pretty smooth. The warmth of my finger oxidized the shadow, like the, the color changed, or maybe that's just like the way it is. Maybe it's like a duochrome shift. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that is the vibe that I get from that. Now I'm gonna take a swatch of side B. Very, very chalky. I mean, it's falling apart. So I don't know if this is the way they packed it. No shade to Cosmo. Doing the matte. Okay, there's literally no pigment there. Side B is the more expensive one. God, please look over me. Yes? Oh, finally! I would consider myself a bit of a food connoisseur, but I will say my favorite cookies growing up were ones from the grocery store that I would just ask the bakery for free or the Mrs. Fields cookies. So I definitely don't have as much highbrow of taste for the cookie industry. This one automatically looks so much more appetizing. Like, I like a cookie with chunks, but usually like I feel like the cheaper, the better when it comes to dessert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes very Toll house -y. Did you make these cookies? I mean, it tastes great, but it's nothing special. Now this is a much thinner, less dense cookie but there's a lot more flavor in here. I'm gonna say this is the more expensive one. Am I right? Ah! Really? This is bad. I love candy, I enjoy it. My favorite is Sour Patch Watermelon, if you ever wanna ship me those. Comparing color alone, this looks less organic. I mean, it's candy, so it's not really organic, but this looks more like I can't tell if it looks more artificial because it's darker or cheaper because it's darker. I don't really have a good game plan here. Mm -hmm. It's a great chew there. That's very pleasant. Now I'm gonna go in for this one. Mm -hmm. This tastes more artificial. The way this cuts is very clean, almost like gelatin would cut. So I'm gonna say this is the more expensive one. Ugh. Okay, I know my eyeshadow and I know my candy. I don't know who in their right mind would pay for that expensive of a moisturizer, but one of these is $200. Damn, catch me in like three years doing my skincare video and having like a $500 cleanser, that would be me. But right now, it's very expensive and I don't support that. There are cheaper products out there. Okay. Oh, you know what this smells like? This smells like Cetaphil. Now this smells luxurious. This smells like flowers and an experience, like a spa. Okay, it's kind of like watery. Okay, now this one feels thicker. It feels hydrated. Oh, but it smells like chemically. I'm gonna say that the thicker one is more expensive. <sighs> I'm right. Okay, good. This is thick. This is an experience. This is watery. It smells like clay. I would go for this any day. Next, I have these chips, which if anyone knows me, you know I'm a fan of a big spicy Cheeto. Love me some Takis. So good, I love anything spicy. I put spicy on it. literally everything. This looks artificial. Not really spicy, with a bit of a waffle texture to it. It's good, but not like amazing. 
Now these are good. They're spicy, they taste good. I like this more because it is spicier and it tastes better, but this is the more expensive one. I would go for this, but I do feel in my soul, this is the expensive one, all right? Ugh, thank God. Okay, that's a nice like 40% like fail. Just a humble girl. I like the simple things. I'm sorry, I'm not really an expensive person. Can't judge me for that. Thank you so much Cosmo for having me and setting up a place for me to fail. Um, this was a very great time, showed me a lot of things, but until the next time I come back, make sure to watch Say by the Bell on Peacock right now and Big Mouth on Netflix season four. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo. Thank you guys, bye.